Welcome back everyone. Today we're going over the LAG tactical hole so that you see here on my side. Not a whole lot I can get into out here on the range so we'll step inside take a closer look at it. Well I've moved inside so we'll get a closer look here at it and show you some of the things that couldn't show out there at the range. Uh, first thing you notice when you look at the holster here is it does have a flared top so that way when you're reholstering the gun it does slide in there a little smoother and you don't have to be quite as precise when getting that gun in there. Similar concept to what you'd see on like a competition handgun with a flared magwell. Same thing. Um, on the back side of the holster you'll notice that it does cover up the mag release button and those of you guys out there who've been carrying for a while know that every now and then if you don't have that covered up that button will actuate and you'll end up with a one shot gun because your magazine will be slightly protruding out of your gun uh, causing it not to work as it should. Um, you'll also notice here on the back it does have these belt loops. These belt loops here are 2 inch but they offer 1.5 inch to 2 inch and all of these holsters do come with uh, outside the waistband clips which you see here and uh, inside the waistband clips so they're easily convertible all you need to do is take out these screws on each side put your uh, other clips on there for inside the waistband and you're in business and all the hardware on here I should note is steel while we have it out and um, I'll take the gun out there so we can get a good look at it it also has good retention which we'll try to show you here it's not going to shake out but you get a good grasp on it pull it out and it will come out and when you put it back in it clicks in with authority so we'll set the gun off to the side here and take a look at the actual holster here. You see it does have good molding lines on the inside, so it's definitely a tight fit like we were just talking about, but not overly tight. And um, this is the thick model that they have here in terms of using thick Kydex. They do have a lighter model that's going to cost a little bit less, and it's also a little bit lighter in weight, but this is you know their heavy-duty one for extreme use, if you will. So it's definitely built to last. It feels like it. No getting around that. In terms of the detail on it, very good, very nice. Um, all the edges are smoothed out, sort of almost to a melted look. They're not actually melted, but it almost feels like it because they are extremely smooth all the way around the holster. Fits together seamlessly on the edges as well. Uh, one of the things that's going to separate uh, Kydex holster makers from each other is just the fit and the finishing on the outside. The gun does take or the holster I should say, it does take uh, light compatible, light mounted guns and they offer a bunch of different kinds. We have the uh, Surefire X300 that you saw there, but I'll put a list in uh, the video here. You guys can see the different lights that they offer. They do offer a good bit more than some of the other uh, competitors out there, so if they have the one you're looking for, definitely check it out. Um, they offer these holsters with uh, straight up and down or 90 degree angles. They also offer a 10 degree canted and 20 degree canted forward for folks who like to draw like that. Like I stated earlier, these come with uh, inside the waistband and outside the waistband loops, but LAG does also offer, not included, but at a separate cost, a Molly backplate to these so they can be used with either Molly or PALS webbing. Uh, so if you have a rig there, you could put it right on there and it'll work just fine like anything else. So very modular system there and something they definitely thought out to for use, I should say, on uh, multiple platforms. They offer a pretty wide uh, range of holsters as well. This is sort of more or less like a uh, duty holster, if you will, like we saw on the outside the waistband with no retention. But they also offer uh, retention holsters. They offer dedicated concealed carry holsters, uh, magazine pouches. So a pretty diverse line. Uh, so if you want to check it out, their link will be below in the description. So check it out there. Um, in terms of color, I chose a two-tone. So I believe this is the Coyote and then the black back. But they have several different color options available, so you can pick those at your time and check out. So look into that, see which one you'd like. They have a bunch of pictures on their website as well if you want to check out. So um, that's another option for them as well. This one here is their most expensive holster though. So this one comes to market at $95. So on the high end of Kydex holsters, but for sure the fit and finish um, and the performance of it is uh, in accordance with that. I would say it's in the high end in terms of holster quality. So price uh, dictates that or, or matches that I guess you should say so they are also offering though currently a discount for my viewers so the discount will be posted in the screen right below where I'm talking right now so you can see it that discount there is good five percent off all of your orders just post it uh, in the checkout when you're checking out and get the discount there so thanks to them for offering the discount to my viewers I always appreciate when companies do that um, but all in all good holster um, as advertised works well no complaints so if you guys have any questions about this holster or anything else i talk about here on the channel you can feel free to post below in the comment section you can also post over at my facebook page as always but thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and i hope to see you in the next video